Okay, so welcome to our first Teacher Tech Tuesday. I'm super excited. So if you look here, this is my app called Smart Seat. And I'm creating a demo class for this video right now. So if you wanted to download this app in the App Store, it's this one right here, this first one in this group that I have called Smart Seat. So I already have all of my classes in here, but I wanted to walk through creating a demo class today. Um, I love this app. This is my favorite seating chart app. Um, our school's program that we use for grading has one in there, but I don't find it's as intuitive or useful. Um, so I just want to show you all of the ways that this can be used. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my demo class. Okay, and so right now I just have one student. The lonely Brad Pitt is my only student. So I'm going to show you how I can easily add students to my class by clicking the bottom right corner here where we have more and we're gonna go ahead and click roster. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in a Jennifer Aniston. Now, if you can't tell, I've always been team Jen, just saying. Um, and so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and grab a picture of her. I thought I had one of her. Of course, that's not the one that, there it is. All right, so. Um, and let's say she does go by a nickname. If she doesn't, you could just leave her and it's gonna automatically, oh, I put her right next to Brad, that's so sweet. Um, it's gonna automatically put her on your seating chart. But if she does go by a nickname, you can type, let's say she went by Jenny. Okay, you can type that here so that when you click done and go to your seating chart, you're gonna see the nickname and the photo. Um, now it's up to you if you wanna use photos. I find it actually easier when I'm putting my students in. So I have also got a Leonardo DiCaprio in there, okay? So you just type in the name. Um, let's nickname him Leo. And I find it easier actually just to take the photo of the student rather than importing all of them, because um, that could take some time. So I just walk around the first week of school and snap, snap a quick photo of all of my kids. But for this demonstration, I'm going off of my album and pulling in pictures of these celebrities. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple more just so you can see. Again, when you're finished with your student, you can just click done. I'm gonna add Ashton, I can spell, catcher, and, okay, his lovely wife, and then we should be able to go on from there. So we'll add some Mila in here, and this should be good for me to kind of show you from here. Now, another great feature that this has is that it has this notes. So if you wanted to type some notes that only you will see because you'll be the only one who knows where they're at, you can type, you know, 504 um, needs extra time on test or whatever their accommodations may be. You can tap it right in here so that next time you went to your seating chart and opened up, you know, Mila, you just click that little notes box and then it's there. And if you wanted to just get rid of everything, she's doing really well, she doesn't need any accommodation, you just click re uh, the revert button or you can just delete whatever she has and it will get rid of it. So now if I go to my seating chart here, here's the lovely thing. You literally just drag your finger onto the person and put it where you want her to go. So it's really awesome. And you can go ahead and just put the kids where you want them. And then whenever I go to change my seating chart, you can click scramble. It will ask, are you sure? It will scramble them. And then let's say you just have a couple kids here or there. You're like, oh, that one should not sit next to that one. You can easily move them around. Um, some other great features is the attendance feature. So when I want to take attendance, I just click on the bottom attendance. Now I have a student job for this, so they're assigned to do the attendance. And so when they do it, they do um, come over to my iPad. I walk them through it the first week on how to do it. If everybody's there, they just click all present and it will turn everybody's name green. And then if they're tardy, it will turn them orange. You just literally tap the absent next button. Absent will be red. So you tap that absent button on the bottom there, and then you tap the student that's absent that day, and it will turn them red. 
Um, I always tell my roll taker if someone comes in late with a pass, I'll let them know if they're excused, and then that will turn them to blue. So really easy, and the great thing is if I accidentally forget to put my attendance in um, to the, the school system, I can come back over here to attendance summary and go to any day of attendance to look and see who is uh, marked absent by my student roll taker. Um, so it'll also randomly pick names. If you click, if you saw that bottom middle, I click that random button, click next. And if you wanted to call on a random student, there you go. You could even show this up on your screen if you wanted, if you have an Apple TV, um, and then the students could see who is being randomly picked. So um, there's also chart options. So if you wanted to include the last name on the chart, it, you could do that. And, uh, or the photo, I prefer the photo. Um, you could change the font size if you want it bigger or smaller. Um, you could do all kinds of different things here. And you could also, what I really like here, is email the chart to yourself. This is perfect for when you change seats and you wanna print this out for your substitute teacher folder. So that's a really great feature that you could do is to email it or you could just view the PDF chart and what it would look like. And uh, yeah, so this is smart seat guys. Um, there's some other features that it does, but I'm sure a lot of you are good with um, playing with these kinds of programs. Um, but yeah, pretty much all of I use, I've already showed you. So if you have any questions, feel free to message me. And thanks for watching.